After 40 murders in one month, it was just past midnight when an armored van pulled up to Dallas's police headquarters and the driver sprayed the building with gunfire from an automatic weapon as officers scrambled for cover. When police got there, they found two people on the ground next to a curb who had been shot to death. Five other victims were taken to local hospitals with gunshot wounds. For Larry Berger has an update on the triple murder investigation. for cover as gunfire erupts at a Dallas car wash. Four people shot, one of them fatally. Now, Fort Worth police uh, called out to Ridgemar Mall at around 5.30 this evening. That 911 call reported shots fired in the parking lot in front of Dillard's. A pregnant teenager is one of five people shot, in fact, at a rec center field near Fair Park. <laughs> Cell phone video captured the chaos as gunfire ignited the night. But it takes the South Dallas seniors to harness the contempt. Now a Fort Worth neighborhood is worried deadly crime is now a part of its identity. Fort Worth, three people were rushed to the hospital this afternoon after a drive-by shooting. A little after 10 o'clock last night, officers found three men who had been shot near a car wash at Elsie Fay Higgins and Lyons in South Dallas. All three were taken to the hospital. They're expected to recover. Soon after, a call came in of a woman suffering from a bullet wound to her leg at a restaurant not far from that first location. Police say the car the woman was riding in was caught in the hail of gunfire from the drive-by. The victim's vehicle ended up riddled with bullets. And two people are dead. A third person was injured in a string of early morning shootings. Saul is live in the East Oak Cliff area of Dallas with the very latest. It is news that no family wants to hear a loved one killed in a ruthless act of violence. And in Fort Worth, that is becoming all too familiar. A double murder in Fort Worth finished a string of attacks. Two separate nights of violence, seven days apart. Two dead in southwest Dallas, three wounded in East Oak Cliff. As a result of the investigation, detectives tied the same suspect to both of these crimes. Gunfire erupted this morning outside a federal courthouse in downtown Dallas. Here's a video of the suspect dressed in what appeared to be tactical gear carrying a rifle. This afternoon, Fort Worth police identified the suspect in a double murder case. Four more homicides just in the last 24 hours have raised the number this month in Dallas to 41.
in a South Dallas neighborhood plagued by gun violence. First, it was five shots, followed by rapid shots here, rapid shots there. Outside a popular restaurant at the corner of Malcolm X Boulevard and Hagen Street, officers say people in two separate cars started shooting at each other. A woman sitting across the parking lot in her vehicle was struck in the leg by a stray bullet. She was taken to the hospital, expected to be okay. Just two and a half days earlier, Right across the street from Sunday's incident, two innocent bystanders were struck by stray bullets. The circumstances very similar to last night. This area, this particular street corner, has long been plagued by gun violence. In fact,
breaking news from overnight. Five people have been wounded in a drive-by shooting, and the gunman is still on the run at this hour. Dallas police tell us that the shots rang out outside of an apartment complex on South Boulevard near the MLK Community Center. Four people who are standing outside. The Dallas Police Department responded to a shooting at the car wash. As you can see, there are multiple individuals uh, washing their cars. And in the far, uh, my left, your right corner, uh, there is a disturbance. Obviously, at this point in time, there are shots being fired, and multiple individuals are fleeing the location. What is ultimately disturbing uh, as a police department is that although individuals are firing shots and individuals are being shot, some individuals at the car wash who was washing their cars failed to even respond. They did not even react. What we know from... And one person was wounded in a drive-by shooting at the same spot where a teenager was killed just a couple of weeks ago. LaToya is live in far northeast Dallas. Good morning, LaToya. Good morning. And sadly, because of incidences like the ones you just mentioned, a lot of people who live in this neighborhood are uh, probably not shocked. And some, in fact, some of them have been reaching out on Facebook saying just how bad they say this area has become in recent years. I want to...
We're following breaking news out of Fort Worth tonight. Someone shot five people in the middle of a very busy park on Mother's Day. Thank you for being with us. I'm Marisa Vedra. This happened at Village Creek Park. That's off 287 near 820. William Joy is live for us on this tonight. And William, police say there were 600 people at that park. Wow. Marie, that number of 600 people in the park is really hard to believe. And frankly, it's fortunate there weren't more people injured. We actually have some somewhat graphic video to show you from Twitter user Basil34. You can hear those shots and see people running. Take a listen. Oh, oh, you did. Go, go. Police believe there were 30 shots fired. This happened around 7 this evening. Police say there were fireworks on a basketball court at the park and that the shooting happened just after that. Of those five people shot, two are in critical condition, three are expected to be all right, all are adults. There was also a second scene at a nearby gas station corner store that they believe is connected. Police say the gang unit is leading the investigation. They're also getting assistance from state and federal investigators, but they said they really need the community's help to get answers. Now, police say they do monitor parks, especially now to make sure that there's distancing going on, but they don't know if they actually had any officers at the park at the time of this shooting. This is obviously an investigation we're going to continue to follow and bring you the latest information right here. Reporting live in Fort Worth, I'm William Joy.
A very dangerous combination of stunts, donuts, and gunfire is nothing new to one Dallas neighborhood, but a crackdown is coming after we brought this video to the city's attention. Good evening, Pleasant Grove residents say the reckless behavior is pretty common every weekend. And despite the noise and gunfire, there have been surprisingly few complaints to police. What went through your mind when you heard gunfire? Nothing. I mean, you just... It's Pleasant Grove. It's natural. Which, I mean, it's, it just depends on how, how long you've been living here. This...
say it happens all the time. I'm playing the game on my phone and I just feel the raw walls rattling. Damn. Antonio Adams says he could hear the gunfire from his home blocks away. I was like, God, Lee, like it, it, it's not even so much a frustration. It's just uh, like sort of getting to the point of being overwhelmed. It's just like, damn, man, another one. Uniforms, but some men in Dallas say they are protecting and serving. They're not trying to replace police, but sometimes they're armed. 
Thanks for joining us. I'm Cynthia Seguirre. And I'm Chris Lawrence. The men say they're protecting their community, and you can find them patrolling the streets in Oak Cliff, specifically the area around Highland Hills. Rebecca Lopez went to check it out. Anybody in the apartments? They say they are tired of crime here. Come on out. So they're taking matters into their own hands. So we're not here policing or being security guards. We, we're coming in as brothers. They call themselves community engagement activists. They have armed themselves and openly carry weapons around the Highland Park apartments in southern Dallas. And they work in shifts. They're looking to stop trouble and crime. We're not trying to uh, come out here and uh, police anybody. We're not trying to um, um, intimidate anybody. We just want to let them know that we're an extra resource that they have uh, in terms of their safety and security. Like this is one of our problem vacant apartments. For a month, they've been patrolling. They say not once have they seen any of the DPS troopers who are helping Dallas police with the summer crime. And they say DPD officers take too long to get here when they need them. The apartment management welcomes them. These guys being here, things have been getting a lot, a whole lot better here on, on the complex. Residents agree and say they feel better about letting their kids come out and play. Show no pity. Niggas with attitude, no NWA, but a violent city. 